वेलकम इन ऑनलाइन टीचिंग गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम महेश कुमार यू मैथ टीचर सो एज आर चैप्टर डेसिमल्स इज गोइंग ऑन इन विच वी हैव लर्न वॉट आर डेसिमल्स एंड हाउ वी कैन कन्वर्ट अ डेसिमल इन टू फ्रैक्शंस नाउ टूडे वी विल लर्न हाउ वी कैन कन्वर्ट अ फ्रैक्शन इन टू डेसिमल एंड ऑल्सो हाउ वी कैन अरेंज द डेसिमल्स नाउ here here we have to convert each of the following into decimals as you are thinking the first one it is 47 upon 10 and second one is 350 3524 upon 1000 so as you are seeing in this first and second one you are the denominator value is 10 and 1000 so listen to student if you are having a denominator value 10 100 1000 10000 lakh 10 lakh the multiple of 10 it means the question is very simple we just mark a decimal according to the number of zeros in the denominator so as you are seeing the first one it is 47 upon 10 as in the denominator only one zero so we will mark a decimal only after one digit it will be 4.7 and in the second one is the in the denominator there are three zeros so we will mark a decimal after three digit so it will be 3.524 But as you are seeing the third and fourth, the denominator value is not like ten, the ten, hundred, thousand are means multiple of ten. So, for these type of question, what we will do? We will just divide. Like first, we will for twenty five upon eight, we divide twenty five by eight. I get three hundred twenty four. We will got remainder one, and we can't move divide further. So what we will do? We will mark the decimal. And increase one zero in the in the remainder. Again, we will divide eight one zero eight. We will got two. And if we have marked decimal once, then there will be then we will got zero in each step. So this two will become twenty. And when we will further divide, it will be eight two zero sixteen. We will got four. And like this four will become forty. And eight again we will divide eight five zero forty. so this will after simplification we will got 3.125 which is in decimal form now the same in the fourth one it is 3 whole 2 upon 5 this is in mixed fraction so what we have to do first first we have to convert this into an improper fraction this will be 17 upon 5 and after simplification we will got 3.4 which is in decimal form now we will learn how we can arrange the decimals in ascending order so as you are seeing these decimals these are not in ascending order so what we will do before arranging in ascending order first we have to make these decimal as like decimal so for like decimal what we see first we see the maximum decimal places as you are seeing in 4.58 and 7.32 and 4.06 The maximum decimal places is two. That means we have to make each of the decimal with decimal place with two decimal places. So for four point six, we will write four point six zero, and this seven point four will become seven point four zero, and uh, other like four point four five eight and seven point three two and four point zero six, they are having two decimal places. So no change. Now we can arrange in ascending order. So it will be first four point zero six, four point five eight, and four point six zero, and seven point three two, and seven point four zero. These are in ascending order. Now what? Now we will write the original numbers. So that now as this four point zero six equal to four point zero six, and four point five eight, four point six zero will be will be four point six as in the question, and this seven point three two as it is, and seven point four zero will be seven point four as in the question. so this is our final answer now here we have to arrange these decimals in descending order the same we will do first we will make these decimal in like decimals form so what we do first first we will see the maximum decimal places as in 2.007 the maximum decimal places is 3 that means we have to convert each of the decimal number as Decimal three decimal places, 
सो दिस टू पॉइंट सिक्स विल बिकम टू पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो जीरो एंड दिस टू पॉइंट टू सिक्स विल बिकम टू पॉइंट टू सिक्स जीरो एंड दिस टू पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स विल बिकम टू पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स जीरो एंड दिस टू पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सेवन इज ऑलरेडी हैविंग थ्री डेजमल प्लेसेज सो नो चेंज एंड दिस टू पॉइंट थ्री विल बिकम टू पॉइंट थ्री जीरो जीरो नाउ वी कैन अरेंज दिस इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो दिस विल बी टू पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो जीरो एंड टू पॉइंट थ्री जीरो जीरो एंड टू पॉइंट टू सिक्स जीरो एंड टू पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स जीरो एंड टू पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सेवन नाउ वट विल डू वी विल राइट द ओरिजिनल नंबर्स लाइक टू पॉइंट सिक्स टू पॉइंट थ्री एंड टू पॉइंट टू सिक्स एंड टू पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स एंड टू पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सेवन एज इन द क्वेश्चन सो दिस दिस इज आर फाइनल आंसर नाउ नेक्स्ट इज हेयर वी हैव टू एक्सप्रेस दिस फोर्टी फाइव मिलीमीटर इन सेंटीमीटर मीटर एंड किलोमीटर हेयर इन दिस फर्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन वी आर हैविंग थ्री क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू सेंटीमीटर then we have to convert this into meter and then we have to convert this into kilometer as we know 1 mm equals to 1 upon 10 cm as so 45 mm equals to 45 upon 10 as there is a 10 in the decimal denominator so we will mark the decimal after one digit it will be 4.5 cm our first answer then second we know 1 mm equals to 1 upon 1000 m So forty five millimeter equals to forty five upon thousand meter. As we are seeing here, are three zero in the denominator, but in the numerator we are having two digit. So we will increase zero before the number. That will not affect its value. So it will be zero point zero four five meter. This is our second answer. Now, as we know, one millimeter equals to one upon ten lakh kilometer. So the same. Forty five millimeter equals to forty five point ten lakh kilometer. As we know, there are six zeros, so we will mark the decimal after six digit. But in the numerator, we are having only two digit. So what we will do? We will increase four zeros before the number. Then we will mark the decimal. It will be zero point zero 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 four five kilometer. This is our third answer. Now. Next is here we have to express as rupees using decimals. As we know, the first one is eight paise. We know one paise equals to rupees one upon hundred. So eight paise equals to rupees eight upon hundred. Now, as you are seeing in the denominator, we are having two zeros. So what we will do? We will mark the decimal after two digit. But in the numerator, we are having only single digit. So what we will do? For making two digit, we will increase zero before the number. So it will be. Zero point zero eight. That means eight paise equals to rupees zero point zero eight. Now in the second one, as you are saying, there are two units, nine rupees and seventy five paise. As we have to convert this into rupees, so nine is already in rupees. We will not make changes in this. We will convert only seventy five paise. So this nine rupees and seventy five paise can be written as nine rupees plus seventy five paise. And using symbol, we can write rupees nine, and we know one paise equals to rupees one upon hundred. So this seventy five paise will be in rupees rupees seventy five upon hundred. Now, as we know, we as we are seeing here in the denominator, we are having two zeros. So we will mark the decimal after two digit. So it will be zero point seven five. After adding, we will got rupees nine point seven five, which is our final answer. so students this is all for today we will learn more in the next session thank you and have a nice day